Hey guys, I'm gonna try something a little bit different in this video. It seems like everybody wants to kind of know what's going on and how things are done. So um, I've been lobstering for a while now. You know, I'd say at least seven or eight years doing this with the hoops. In the beginning, I really didn't get that many keepers. I, I, I struggled, you know, lots of shorts, kind of different areas. I played with different baits and whatnot. Since I've been lobstering, I've picked up a few things that I just don't change ever. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna call those my pillars of lobstering. And in this video, I'm gonna go over my, I think it's four or five pillars. You know, the things that I just, no, no if, ands, or buts, what I do every single time. So uh, hopefully you pick something up. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Hopefully you just like watching, catching some lobster. This is a pretty good trip. Hope you enjoy it. So here's the first thing I always do. I always get live bait. I get the live bait, I put it in the bucket, chop it up. For me, I feel like it really makes a big difference. I used to use uh, skipjack bellies, skipjack guts. I used to use salmon heads. I tried all that, but in my opinion, the fresh dead, fresh chopped up, I don't even want to use any other bait anymore. I don't know if it's better, but since I started using it, I started catching more keepers. So I'm, I'm not changing that. Well, here's something else. I don't know if I'd call it a pillar, but it's made a big difference for me. I like using these seal proof bait holders if you use the holder that comes with the hoop um, the seals they've learned that they could just go down there and, and bite at it and pull at them until you, they can get all the, the bait out of there it's kind of a waste of time if the seals are eating all your bait awesome and night. scaring the night. lobster away great night. yeah i'm a big fan of these bait want. holders yeah. at least something traffic. that keeps the seals away already yep mm. here's something that's pretty important I'm gonna call this my second pillar of lobster fishing. Things that I don't change is having a good place to go. I'd say that I've got about six or eight spots that are within 45 minutes of my slip. I pretty much go to those every single time. Every once in a while, I'll try a new spot where my buddy says he did really good, you know, the night before or the week before or something like that. But for the most part, I, I just keep hitting the same spots over and over again. I think that the lobster migrate quite, quite a bit, so I, I found that I don't really fish my holes out. So also, I really only lobster, you know, a couple times a month. So it's not like I'm hammering these spots real hard. If I were going to go lobstering for the first time now with not knowing anything in a new area, I'd probably just hit the regular spots, hopefully on a not crowded, crowded night. You know, the bait dock, um, the jetties, the breakwaters, something like that. Probably, there they're, they're tried and true. Sweet. They usually work, but you can usually pick a couple there. With more than one person. <laughs> Another thing that's really important to me, I go out of my way to lobster when the current isn't that strong. I don't know if the, if the lobster are affected or crawl better or not, but for me, just the logistics of how the lobstering goes is so much better when you don't have too much current. I found that when, there, when there's a lot of current, it pulls your floats down. I've been looking for floats in the middle of the night and they're two feet underwater. It's so frustrating. I feel like it, the, the strong current probably moves your hoop okay. around a little more than now it should. Do. At the beginning of the season, I go through all the tide charts, look, for, look at the currents, and then I mark on my calendar, you know, all the good days where it's anywhere from three quarters of a knot max to below. I don't know if it's better Go for, it. for the hooping or not, or for the lobster, but Chew. I will say it really makes the logistics a lot better. It makes for a lot com more comfortable Good luck. Phil, you know what to do. No, throw the, you can throw the buoy now. Yep. There you go. Right. It'll pull it through. Number 10, huh? Sweet. I actually like it better when the buoy is closer to the net and then it pulls it through the buoy. Oh, yeah. oh, really? That way the, 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 the leading edge or the, the trailing edge is deeper. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's our 10. That's our 10. 10 little blinkers. All right. Finally, 
We've got our hoops in the water, they're baited, they've been soaking, time to pull. One of the next pillars for me is, is when you're coming up to the, the float, you know, you use your gaff or boat hook, you grab the float, and then you start pulling. That time between touching the float or the line and pulling is really important to me. I feel like the lobster feel it. As soon as you disrupt that line, it, create, it sends some vibrations down, and I think that they're so sensitive that they could run away. So I think it's really important to just start pulling as soon as you touch the line. That transition is really important to me, and I, and I think it's really, really a big deal to, to get it right. While we're at it, here's another pillar. We brought up the last hoop. Now Phil's gonna change the bait, but watch how he pours out the old bait into the bucket. What we do is we pour the old bait back into the bucket, mix it in with the fresh bait, and then re-scoop it back up. What's, what's important here is, is that we never pour any old bait into the water that's not in one of the hoops. In my opinion, if you have bait or old bait scattered around where you're hooping, the lobster will go to that and not your hoops. So for me, it's really, really important that we don't put any excess bait, old bait or anything in the water while we're hooping. At the end of the night when we're done, they can have it all. You know, feed them up, good for them. That's a big oh. one. Maybe we're not gonna move. Oh, oh damn, boy. That's a fatty. Oh. Good on you. You gonna measure just for the hell of it? <laughs> <laughs> just so oh, we can see. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Damn, yeah, was there two in there or just the one? The one small one. one small. Yeah. Are you sure you didn't oh, want to measure it? measure it? No, that thing was tiny. This is everything. That's a nice one. Wow. Whoa, that's a, that's a monster. Look at that thing. Jeez. This is the deadliest catch, right? It's fun. <laughs> you know, the anticipation of what's coming up. I know, right? I see Brown. I, do too. I see a keeper. Oh, that's a keeper. Oh. That's a well that's keeper. A that's one. a that's oh, a no shit. measure. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Oh. That's a plenty big keeper. Well, let's measure it just to be sure, but I okay. right, no problem, right? Yep, no problem. Alright, put it in the tank and let's keep going. Yeah, no fucking around. Oh, I see brown! Oh! oh. 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 Holy oh. shit! Whoa! Dude! Whoa. Nice oh my Woo. gosh! Oh! That's getting better. Oh! Got the, I don't want to cry. I don't think we really need to measure this one. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh! Don't lose it.
There's like no crowd at all. Yeah. Oh, there's one guy that came past us. He was like circled around and ended up driving over that way. And I'm not sure where he ended up down that, but that's where I wanted to be on the other side over there, or that's where I was. That was my other option. Okay. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. I think that's a big one. I think it's, it might be too big. Oh, I think it's too big. Nah, it's crap. Uh, that's, I think that's super. No problem. Right? Yeah, yeah for sure. Ready? Sometimes these, they look small, but they're yeah. bigger than, because you're used to the big ones, so the, the keepers look small. Yeah, that's new bait. Oh no, it just died. Oh, that's close. Yeah. That's close. That's that's a throwback. Oh well. Mine's okay. Oh well, that was close. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. The the keepers look small now, huh? I know, right? <laughs> Spine on his fin there. Yeah. Two of them. Those are fun. Ooh, God, that's good. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, that was a keeper. This is a keeper. We're taking count because we lost. Count. We don't want to go over limits on our last pole. <laughs> that's a male. That's a law. That's a big one. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a cool picture right there. Yeah. I'm digging that. 